some of the flagship corridors and other important projects that would see considerable activity in 2021-22 are in Annexure 2 to my speech. I am also providing an enhanced outlay of 1 lakh 18,101 lakh crores, 1 lakh 18,101 crores for Ministry of Road Transport and Highways, of which 1 lakh 8,230 crores is for capital, the highest ever provided. Yeah. Railway infrastructure. Honorable Speaker, sir, Indian Railways have prepared a National Rail Plan for India 2030. The plan is to create a future-ready railway system by 2030, bringing down the logistic costs for, a, for an industry is at the core of a strategy to enable Make in India. It is expected that Western dedicated freight corridor and Eastern dedicated freight corridor will be commissioned by June 2022. The following additional initiatives are also proposed. Global supply chain. The Sonnagar Gomo sections, 263 kilometers of Eastern dedicated freight corridor will be taken up in PPP mode in this year itself. Gomo Dankuni section of 274.3 kilometers will be also taken up short, shortly in short success, succession. We will undertake future dedicated freight corridor projects, namely East Coast Corridor from Karakpur to Vijayawada, East West Corridor from Busaval to Karakpur to Dankuni, and North South Corridor from Itarsi to Vijayawada. Detailed project reports will be undertaken in the first phase. Broad gauge root kilometers, RKM as they refer to, electrified is expected to reach 46,000 kilometers, 46,000 RKMs. That is 72% by end of 2021 from 41,548 RKMs on 1st October 2020. 100% electrification of broad gauge routes will be completed by December 2023. For passenger convenience and safety, the following measures are being proposed. We will introduce the aesthetically designed Vista Dome LHB coach on tourist routes to give better travel experience to passengers. The safety measures undertaken in the past few years have borne results. To further strengthen this effort, high-density network and highly utilized network routes of Indian Railways will be provided with an indigenously developed automatic train protection system that eliminates train collusion due to human error. I'm providing a record sum of 1,10,055 crores for railways, which, of which 1,7,100 crores is for capital expenditure only. Urban infrastructure. We will work towards raising the share of public transport in urban areas through expansion of metro rail networks and augmentation of city bus services. A new scheme will be launched at a cost of 18,000 crores to support augmentation of public bus transport services. The scheme will facilitate deployment of innovative PPP models to enable private sector players to finance, to acquire, to operate, and to maintain over 20,000 buses. The scheme will boost the automobile sector provide Philip to economic growth, create employment opportunities for our youth, and enhance ease of mobility for urban residents. A total of 702 kilometers of conventional metro is operational, and another 1,016 kilometers of metro and RRTS is under construction in 27 cities. 
two new technologies, that is Metro Light and Metro Neo, will be deployed to provide metro rail systems at much lesser cost with same experience, convenience, and safety in tier two cities and peripheral areas of tier one cities also. Central counterpart funding will be provided to Kochi Metro Railway Phase 2 of 11.5 kilometer at a cost of 1,957.05 crores. <laughs>